had my way, I would come today, wouldn't be found in this nowhere town, say hello to dreams, goodbye to pain, I'd be gone, 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 for the morning rain. I'd be gone to stay If I had my way If I had my way There'd be no dues to pay No chains to break No cruel heartache Nothing left to lose, everything to gain. Still, it gets so hard. And we finished up as one of the 100 top finalists. And um, they really liked it. They mentioned that he had a great hook and melody, and that the lyrics were great. There's no telling. Where I'm bound Only know where I've been Wanna yank my soul From the lost and found Start all over again If I had my way I'd be gone today No more waiting round For that lonesome sound Of every passing train Leaving me behind You know I'd pack my things I'd make it right on time Hate to leave this That's night uh, Phil shows up and he looks familiar. You really did look familiar to me. And I may have seen you somewhere, but just didn't know it. Um, so I think you showed up one time, and then the second time you showed up? Was it the second time? He approached me and said, um, gee, would you be interested in doing some music, just running some sound or whatever? Because I was doing a cross between my music, folk music, and some jazz kind of stuff. So on that invitation, I said, sure. What do you see? I really kicked this up that notch since I used to play. So we grew up with all the same Boston, you know, singers, you know, Tom Brush, you know, the, the, the Questing Band, all those, you know, um, Maria Maldor, all those people, you know. So we all have, we have a very similar. Uh, cut at this. I want to add that um, what we also grew up with was music on the radio wasn't segregated then. So the top 40 contained anything from country, western, blues, rock and roll. The whole smorgasbord was there. And so I grew up hearing all kinds of music. My mother and father sang choral music. My mother um, sang early early blues, like she was singing um, some of the blues from the Smith sisters, which I saw that she was talking about Bessie Smith's sisters, uh, and she knew one of them. Um, and then my father would listen to symphonic music. So at the time we grew up in, which was in the 60s, everything was there. And so it was hard to me to stay focused just in one genre. I mean, it was all there. And then when I met Phil, um, the first thing we did was, I think it was Beyond the Sea, and I thought, oh, you can get into that? And he had his own little version of it, and so I thought, well, this is going to work great, because not only could he sing authentic blues, add the real authentic touch to them, but then it was much broader than that, which is where I live. I live in a very broad world. <laughs> For um, uh, 
what what I look for, you know, there's, there's two elements here. We, you know, one is is performance. You know, performing the pieces, and uh, and as it turns out, um, uh, like the first song we did, I'll, I'll sing higher than her. You know, if I go into falsetto, she has a wonderful low register that's uh, really excellent. And, uh, <laughs> that's. Uh, Do you know what's delightful? That he can take the high notes and I can go low or high. It's having that flexibility is divine. It's almost on an intuitive level um, because he does work with me with lyrics and me with him once in a while with melody where I will write something down and what's like if I had my way he'll say there's more here um, those are tag words <laughs> there's more here can um, something else is going on here that I feel so we go back and forth and it becomes a very intuitive process um, He'll get a feel of where I'm going, and I get a feel of where he's going musically. Now is the needed time for the needed time. Now is the needed. But you see where it goes. Where I'm here for the ride. I am on this ride until it comes to a stop. <laughs> we. I rely totally on her intuition. <laughs> and uh, I've learned over my life never mess with female intuition because they really see and feel and understand things much better than I do. So uh, she she has all these feelings about where all this is going, and I respect that. And, and we don't mess with that, you know. And, and as it turns out, things just sort of happen for us, and uh, you know, we don't chase it. It yeah. just sort of happens. Things are falling in our path. Uh, just amazing things, and we're just walking the path. Just see where it goes. Most Mondays, we're down at the Webster House, the Folk and A. It's an open mic on Monday nights from 7.30 to 9.30. And then most of the time on Friday nights at New Cafe for the thing. Um, open mic that's there from 6.30 to 9.30. And we're on Reverb Nation, so just hook in Lydia and Phil and you'll find us. Ah.